Hey guys, Reviews and More, back with a new review. This is going to be for WeatherTech Floor Liners for a Jeep Patriot. So, um, weather, as always, hit the like and subscribe button if you find this video helpful. It helps me out a whole lot. And if you have any questions, please hit the subscribe button. So, the price range for this, this was for the floor mats, a uh, little kid foot blocker for the back seat, for the uh, back seat so it doesn't kick on our front seats and mess them up, as well as the cargo mat in the back. So these are all custom molded. That's WeatherTech's big claim to fame. They've put out custom molded stuff. Um, so we're basically testing these things out. Nothing too crazy about them. Uh, first things first, you got to get them out of the box, which of course I'm having trouble with because I'm a moron. But other than that, we get them out pretty quick. The main thing you want to do first is get them onto your concrete or out in the sun because they might need to flatten out, especially that cargo mat because that comes rolled up and it makes it a lot easier to put it into the actual vehicle once it is nice and warmed up and it's easy to fold out. Um, this was for a Jeep Patriot, so that's the vehicle it's going into. So as far as custom molding, I assume this would be indicative of any vehicle that they have uh, custom molding for, which would basically be virtually all of them at this point. Certainly any uh, vehicle you would expect to have dust coming in and out of trucks, that kind of stuff, but also for cars as well. These are extremely durable um, rubber is what they feel like to me. They're just like rubberized polymer or something because they're not just straight rubber but they're very nice they're all custom molded and the cool thing i like about them because I, I kind of expected almost to see them being like a hard plastic and they weren't so that was kind of pleasant a pleasant surprise i'd heard of weather tech for a long time didn't know much about them and what i like is that they all have that 360 lip around them so even if you like spill something in them or if you like get a bunch of dirt and stuff you can kind of lift them out of there if you're careful and avoid spilling or at least get it toweled off and not to worry about it messing up the actual upholstery inside your vehicle on the, on the mats so what you're going to see here is just basic install and you also can see my wife's butt sorry about that i'm, I'm sure you're not going to complain um they go in real easy it takes all of five minutes it took us longer as we were filming trying to get it perfect and doing what we had to do but other than that it worked out great and um you'll notice there it doesn't quite fit right that's because of it, the way it's sitting in the sun there's nothing to butt up against it so the lip kind of sagged a little bit from the heat that's normal it'll it eventually kind of just molds into place as the car heats up and cools down like sitting in parking lots and whatnot but you can see there it already fits very very snug in there which is what it's designed to do which is what the custom molding is great for now the price for this i believe is about 350 dollars for the four floor mats as well as the uh, cargo mat in the back and the little foot guard for the little guy sitting in his car seat so he doesn't scratch up our stuff but um the install even calling it install is kind of over the top notice there in this uh quick little bite right here you'll notice that we put it over top of the old um floor mats you can't do that we had to go back and take them back out because they didn't quite fit snug you cannot leave these things in with original floor mats on most vehicles especially ones in the front where they have little hooks to kind of catch the um and prevent the floor mats from like smushing up underneath the brake the brakes or the gas pedal so you got to make sure you take those out before you put these new ones in and um from there you're basically good to go they uh, give you a little bit of play with the uh, uh, moving the seats back and forward, but they just fit in there. They kind of remind me of giant ashtrays in a weird way, like custom ashtrays for like a console or something. Very like very strange. They kind of they just fit like a glove, go right in. They're snug in there. They don't feel they don't budge at all. But again, you see the small gaps in there. Those goes those go away after about a day or two of being in the sun and cooling off and heating up, cooling down. And eventually kind of getting really tight in there and they don't move around at all which i was also a little surprised at because there's no gripping on the bottom it's not like this uh you see buy some floor mats and they have the little spikes on the bottom to hold in place these don't have that and they still don't move so they're very very nice um and overall this will basically help keep the car clean and you know what people like weather tech sometimes if you see a car for sale and they have weather tech floor liners that's a big point of sale because they're guaranteed for a good length of time so you've got warranties on them that basically will tend to transfer as long as you got the receipt and information and can kind of track them down nothing too crazy about this i'm really happy with them and we're overall as a family very excited about them because they we, means we can be a little not care, careless in the car but at least we don't have to panic 
about what we leave in there or if like we spill something it's not the end of the world doesn't turn into a big hullabaloo so we like it a whole lot um again these are weather tech this is for a jeep patriot and the price range was about 350 bucks and i'm assuming sometimes you can find discount codes and that kind of stuff so thanks for watching have a great day i hope you found this review helpful remember like and subscribe if you found it helpful it really helps out the channel and myself have a great day Saying, honey, they're all the same on the side, they're all white. That's what I'm saying. He's got two front doors, and that's okay. it. That's how they want them all. Yeah, but you don't need too much dog.